Yes, I find armpit hair disgusting. You sweat, it stings, it is repulsive. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we have a controversial video. Very controversial. The misogynist, the sexist, the racist Bobby is speaking to you and he's voicing his opinion on armpit hair. How could he? How could Bobby say that armpit hair in women is disgusting? What did he think? This misogynist, we've been following him for such a long time and we like him. But when he said that he doesn't like armpit hair, I unsubscribed. I unsubscribed from his channel. This dirty, dirty, bald man. I cannot listen to this patriarch. Guys, it is quite ridiculous that I have to do a video on this, but I really like to. I like to clarify my own aesthetic perspective on armpit hair. Bobby, it is natural and you are into natural things, aren't you? You always claim nature is right. No, I never did. I never claimed that natural is the way to go. Never before. Natural is all fine and dandy sometimes and sometimes nature can kick your ass and then it's not so good for you personally however that is not the basis of my argument me personally i do not like armpit hair i find it quite disgusting you know what else i find disgusting back hair in men i find that pretty disgusting as well and me coming from a macedonian ancestry you can bet that I'm a pretty hairy man myself. I have to shave my body as well because I do not like the aesthetics. I don't think you can see it here, but everything is shaved. Here I shave, I shave even my shoulders, not my chest so much. I keep my chest hair just because I do enjoy that aesthetic. However, I do shave my back because it is not beautiful to me. I do not like a bush. I do not like armpit hair in women. But that is not even the subject. The real subject is why do you care so much? Why do you feel so personally offended? And how did I attack you as an individual if I simply do not like the aesthetic of it? Maybe you don't like the aesthetic of a bald bearded man. I heard it many, many times. People said, Oh, Bobby, when will you shave your beard? I'm sure you look good underneath the beard. Why don't you shave it? That is your personal opinion. What should I do now? Ban you from my channel? It is ridiculous. We have so many snowflakes nowadays. It is crazy. Yes, I find armpit hair disgusting. You sweat, it stings, it is repulsive. I trim my armpit hair as well. I don't like armpit hair in men either. I find it repulsive. It's natural though. Nose hair is natural too. What do you want to do now? Grow it out. It is repulsive. I find it disgusting and I find it quite amazing that people seem to be so full of themselves that they believe they have the position, they have the right to tell somebody on YouTube what they should think. This translates into a much broader topic. People really believe they can dictate what a YouTuber can say on YouTube. In case you didn't notice, this thing here is called Bobby's perspective. I share my perspective, nothing more and nothing less. It is not called Bobby's carnivore perspective. It is not called Bobby's vegan perspective. It is called Bobby's perspective, quite frank and simple. So when I want to talk about God, I will talk about God. If I want to talk about armpit hair, I will talk about armpit hair. It is that simple. And if you are such a special snowflake that cannot handle a different opinion, please unsubscribe. It is that easy. It costs you one click here, one click and off you go. It is that simple. But people nowadays, they want everybody to agree with them. And I do understand the psychology. Many people said that they're very disappointed now that Bobby is a Christian. 
I was watching Bobby and I really liked him, but now that he is into God, ugh, I hate Bobby, I can't stand Bobby. It is ridiculous. How does it change something for you? How does this affect you? And it is the exact same people that will point the finger and say misogynist or racist. Those people are the most judgmental. Those people cannot live with different opinions. They cannot accept that somebody else won't like their filthy, disgusting armpit hair. Oopsie. Yes, I said it. I find it disgusting. If you like it so much, grow it. You have every right in the world. But with doing certain things, you will have to live with other people not liking it. Here, look at this. Bobby has a tattoo. Oh, it's a swastika. Wee! That looks very racist. I have to live with that swastika. And I do understand that some people will react negatively. Although it never happened to me on the street, in the gym, in public venues. Never ever approach me anybody on that. Aside, wait a second, it is not true. I remember one Vietnamese old gentleman asking me about it. And that was it. It was a very positive talk that we had. Never any negative. However, if there will be a day where I will be confronted with negativity, then I will have to stand up and explain why I have a swastika tattoo. And if you are so comfortable with armpit hair, then you will have to live with that decision. But let me tell you, 95% of people, making up numbers here, are not into armpit hair. Many guys do not like it. There is a reason why we as a population shave. No, it is not social conditioning. It is because it is disgusting. It is the same reason why men trim or groom or shave it off all together. That's simple. All right, guys, and this is it for today's rant. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If not, feel free to unsubscribe because bad, bad misogynist Bobby does not like your armpit hair. All right, guys, this is it. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's Perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.